All right. Now that we've seen a few polynomials and we have the vocabulary to discuss polynomials, we're going to move on to all sorts of other things involving polynomials. We're going to do arithmetic. In this lesson, we're going to be adding and subtracting polynomials. Later, we'll be multiplying and dividing them. We're going to spend a lot of time on factoring polynomials, which is something that you might not have seen before, but it ends up being very useful when we're solving equations that include polynomials. So quite a bit to do with polynomials, but let's start in with adding and subtracting them. All right, our first example of an addition problem is going to be 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 plus x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now, in this problem, the parentheses are only here to show you which is the first polynomial and which is the second polynomial those parentheses don't have any mathematical value. And what I mean by that is that they don't denote multiplication. There's nothing that needs to be distributed. There's no exponents on top of them. They're just there to show you which is the first and which is the second polynomial. And in fact, the problem wouldn't be any different if we erased them, which is exactly what we're going to do. We can rewrite this without the parentheses and it has the same meaning as the original problem. Now that we've gotten rid of the parentheses, I hope you can see what we can do here. We can combine like terms. And this is exactly the same as what we've did is what we've done in the past. 2x squared plus x squared is 3x squared. 3x plus negative 3x gives us 0x. Those cancel and then 1 plus 2 is 3, so we end up with 3x squared plus 3. When we're adding two polynomials together, really all we need to do is get rid of the parentheses and combine like terms, which is something that we already know how to do. So this isn't anything that's truly new or difficult or complicated. Let's take a look at a subtraction problem, which is going to be just a little bit different. Let's look at 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 minus 2x squared minus 2x minus 6. In this case, we cannot just erase the parentheses. One of these sets of parentheses has some mathematical value, and that is the second set, specifically because the subtraction needs to be distributed to each of the terms in the second polynomial. We can leave the first polynomial like it is and get rid of those parentheses because those parentheses don't have any mathematical value. However, when we get rid of the second set of parentheses, we're going to have to distribute that subtraction to each of the terms in the second polynomial. So this is going to be minus 2x squared. Then when we subtract a negative, it turns into an addition. This is going to be plus 2x. And again, when we subtract a negative, it's the same as adding. Minus negative 6 is the same as plus 6. So we rewrite it like this. And now, once we've distributed that subtraction, we're able to combine like terms. 3x squared minus 2x squared is x squared. 7x plus 2x is 9x. And negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Those terms cancel. So all we're left with is x squared plus 9x. It's not a truly complicated process. I think the only really difficult part is remembering to distribute that subtraction. Sometimes we can make mistakes there. But the rest of it is just combining like terms, which is something that we've done before and something that I hope you're comfortable with at this point.